So in, democracy, in democracies like ours, we have this procedure called redistricting, where in response to population shifts, we redraw the boundaries of electoral districts to ensure equal representation. So when officials do this, they utilize four key criteria. The first is contiguity, making sure that a district is one single shape instead of multiple disconnected features. The second is compactness, ensuring that the district is a rounded, sensible shape and not a snake-like shape as Santa Barbara's district used to be. Also, we have the uh, respect for administrative boundaries, like county lines, as Iowa does so well here. And finally, uh, community of interest, respect for community of interest. But uh, this one is less well-defined as the other three. The basic idea seems to be a region filled with people who are like-minded and have similar traits. So if we can say it is a region, what type of region is it? In geography, we like to think of there being four types of regions. Administrative regions are one, and electoral districts are the perfect example of this type of region. But we also have thematic regions, which are based on a certain measurable variable, like income. We have functional regions, which are based on linkages, such as commuting patterns shown here. And we also have cognitive regions, which are produced by informal perceptions and conceptions in one's mind, such as my neighborhood or downtown. And in this example, we have neighborhoods of Boston as uh, perceived by their residents. So what I wanted to do was ask, OK, so we have this idea of a community of interest, and researchers seem to agree that it is either a thematic, a function, or a cognitive. And there's been a lot of research defining it as a thematic or a functional region, but not as much defining it as a cognitive region. So what I went and did was go into Santa Barbara to ask people, where do you think your community of interest is? I gave them a map of the city and had them draw on it, as you see here, lines showing where they think their community of interest is. And this shows lines drawn by residents of the east side area of Santa Barbara. And after they drew these lines, I was able to take the shapes they drew, overlap them, and see how well they overlapped and where the areas of highest agreement was. As you can see, the darker the color, the higher the agreement. And so what I was able to show is that you can measure these regions, and they, are, they can be seen as coherent and cohesive regions which I think will be helpful for redistricting officials, especially in situations where you have a large area that's very similar thematically and functionally, but still needs to be broken up into districts. And so the way for them to do this is to look at these cognitive uh, regions so that they can make sure that people are kept in districts that they feel the strongest sense of attachment and sense of belonging to and are the better represented for it. Thank you.